because it should never be about our bottom line, but rather yours. Because it should never be about mere transactions, but rather relationships. Because it should never be about expedience, but rather education. Because it should never be about one size fits all solutions, but rather your solution. Because it should never be about nickel and diming you to death, but rather moving you forward in life. Because it should always be about you. Carolina Foothills Federal Credit Union exists to move you forward, to move you to a more secure, comfortable, confident place in your life so you can buy that car, go to that college, start that business, dig out from those bills, or merely sleep easier at night. We do this through education, by being approachable, by being open and forthright and considerate of your individual situation. And with a full realization that your concerns and your goals and your dreams are worthy of our respect and our admiration and certainly our time. We are here to move you forward. That's why we come to work every day. That's why we love what we do. That's our reward. And that's what makes us different from just about any other financial institution around. Carolina Foothills Federal Credit Union. We don't move you from desk to desk. We don't move you from line to line. We move you forward. Good evening, everyone. My name is Isaac Dixon, and I want to thank you for joining us this evening. It is truly a wonderful thing to celebrate another successful year of serving our upstate community. While this year has been full of wins and losses, we are especially thankful to have played a part in the lives of members overcoming the obstacles of a global pandemic. Keep in mind that it is because of you and your membership that we've been able to donate, serve and assist during this time. We are so glad that you are virtually here tonight and we want to thank you for your economic participation in the credit union. Our first order of business is a pledge of allegiance. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Before I recognize our volunteers, let us pause for a moment of silence to remember our members, family, and friends who we have lost to COVID-19 and its effects. Thank you. I would now like to recognize the volunteers of Carolina Foothills, the Board of Directors, Supervisory Committee, and Nominating Committee. These are members just like you who have chosen to serve the credit union and represent your best interests. Board members, Johnny Lester, Angela Jeta, Elvira Els, Donna Hicks, Laura Olson, Marquise Clark, and I have the pleasure to serve as your board chairman. Our supervisory committee is Donna Hicks as chairman, BJ Lyles, Christina Cromwell, Delton Vereen, and Michael Bowers. Nominating committee is Eric Sullivan, chairman, Sandra Fowler, and this year the board representative was Elvira Els. Thank you to all the volunteers. You may have seen in your regist registration email that you have the opportunity to make donations to Service Dog for Veterans. This is the fourth year in a row that we've used our annual meeting as an opportunity to support this charity. For those who do not know, Service Dogs for Veterans is a local nonprofit that rescues shelter dogs and rehabilitates them to act as service dogs for veterans who are suffering from PTSD, TBI, and MST. They make a direct impact in the lives of the people around us and restore hope to this community. During this meeting, there will be an ongoing 50-50 raffle. If you choose to make a donation to Service Dogs for Veterans, you'll be entered into a drawing. 
At the end of this meeting, we will choose a winner to receive 50% of the proceeds, while the other 50% is donated to Service Dogs for Veterans. To make a donation, either click the link in the chat bubble or text donate to 1-800-922-4403 to receive the donation link. If you choose to donate after the meeting, we will keep the donation link live on our website until the end of the month. Raffle ticket prices are broken down as follows. $5 will buy you one ticket, $10 will buy you three tickets, and $20 will get you 10 tickets. Please be sure to put your name in the donation so we can enter you into the drawing. With that said, as a way to thank you for joining us tonight, we will pull three door prizes. Each prize is $100, which will, be, which will be deposited to your Carolina Foothills account tomorrow. The first door prize winner tonight is Brenda Curry. Congratulations. Education is something we take very seriously at Carolina Foothills. Not only financial education, but higher education as well. I would now like to welcome Angela Gita to present our 2021 scholarship winners. As Angela joins us, please watch this video about service dogs for veterans or take some time to make your donation. I started uh, walking dogs at our Humane League back in Pennsylvania in, in the, uh, 2002 to 2005, and I really got interested in how dogs help people. A couple of veterans came in to the shelter where I was walking dogs and needed a buddy because they were struggling with their PTSD. They were living alone. So I knew when we moved to Greenville, I wanted to volunteer at an organization that was training dogs to help veterans, and I couldn't find one. And so I started one with training partner Connie Cleveland back in uh, 2014. Um, we've had a lot of requests to develop satellite uh, organizations after our model. <laughs> we have all, right now, we have all we can do to keep up with Greenville. And the demand just keeps going or growing over time for us. Probably 50% of the contacts we get on our website are people we cannot help because they're out of our area. And uh, that breaks our heart, but there just aren't enough organizations doing what we do to help veterans rescue dogs in the process. So I'd like to see more of that. If we can help, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, it's very gratifying to see what dogs can do to help veterans that come back from active duty overseas and they don't get to be normal like they were when they went in and life is altogether different. But the training that we do with their dogs um, enables the veteran to connect with their own feelings much better and it helps the symptoms that they have with their PTSD and traumatic brain injury to be able to train a dog is extremely therapeutic. And for those of us that have owned dogs, we know how easy it is to connect with a dog. And when we train the dogs, or rather we train the veterans to train their dog, the bond is so much deeper than just the, the bond of a pet. And it's that connection, that loving connection that they get through the training that motivates the veteran to do things that they wouldn't do for themselves, but they will do that for the dog. Each year, Carolina Foothills awards three $1,000 scholarships to deserving members. Once we make our selections, each application is then submitted to the Carolinas Credit Union Foundation for consideration in their scholarship competition as well. Since 2015, Carolina Foothills has awarded over $40,000 in college scholarships. Although they are not able to join us in person, 
we would like to congratulate our 2021 scholarship winners. Our first winner is Annabelle Backus. Annabelle will be attending Anderson University beginning in the fall of 2021. She will be studying nursing. Annabelle is a member of the Teen Leadership Board at Ronald McDonald House, serves in her church's student ministry, and participates in mission trips to local areas. Congratulations to Annabelle. Our second winner is Zane Taylor. Zane will be attending the University of South Carolina, Columbia, beginning in the fall of 2021, and will be studying economics. Zane is an Eagle Scout with the Boy Scouts of America. He is a member of the National Beta Club, the National Honor Society, and participates in his school fishing club. Congratulations to Zane. Lastly, we have Alicia McGee. Alicia will be attending Tulane University beginning in the fall of 2021 to pursue a master's degree in social work. Alicia has experience in youth and adult mental health, first aid, crisis prevention, and nailzine training. Alicia has worked for AmeriCorps and served on her school's racial coalition. Congratulations, Alicia. We're so proud of of all of you and thankful for the opportunity to support you in your quest for higher education. Your check will be mailed in July to your respective schools. We wish you good luck. Thank you, Angela, and congratulations to our scholarship winners. For the fourth year, Carolina Foothills will be awarding micro grants of $2,500 each to community partners that stand apart from the crowd because of the difference they make by serving the community. Although they're unable to join us in person, we would like to take a moment to recognize this year's micro grant recipients. Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Upstate provides one-on-one -on -one mentoring to at-risk children in our area to help them achieve education success, develop essential life skills, and avoid high-risk behaviors. The microgrant will contribute to the mentorship of 120 disadvantaged children in Spartanburg. Congratulations and thank you for what you do to help the at-risk youth of Spartanburg. Hub City Farmers Market works to increase the supply and access and demand of healthy and local foods. With this grant, they will work to create a cookbook highlighting local farmers and the importance of their work within the local farm system. Proceeds from the book will help to feed thousands of local families impacted by COVID-19. Congratulations to the Hub City Farmers Market. The Service Dog Institute is dedicated to enriching the lives of differently abled by providing trained do service dogs to boost confidence, improve self-sufficiency, provide companionship, and perform skilled tasks that enable partners to lead more independent lives. This grant will help support their program, which provides service dogs in homeless shelters, public disaster zones, government fatigue areas, healthcare facilities, and other areas where moments of crisis have occurred in the upstate and across South Carolina. These dogs provide relief and comfort to the public. Great work and congratulations. We are so proud of our 2021 micro grant recipients and look forward to seeing the positive changes you will make in our upstate community. It's time to pull a second name for a dual prize winner. Just as a reminder, this member will receive $100 deposited to their Carolina Foothills account tomorrow. The next dual prize winner is Louis Allen. Congratulations. Now I'd like to call the business portion of our meeting to order. 
This year's annual report is available on the annual meeting page of our website, linked in the chat box. You will also find the minutes from our last annual meeting on the website and on the screen here. A poll should appear on your screen. Could I have a motion to accept the minutes as printed? So moved. All in favor, please accept yes on your polling feature. The minutes are approved. Just as a reminder, we will shortly be conducting our 50 50 raffle and there is still time to donate to the cause. You can either click the link in the chat bubble to donate or text donate to 1-800-922-4403. I will now turn it over to Mr. Eric Sullivan, chairman of the nominating committee for their report. Good evening, my name is Eric Sullivan, your nominating committee chair. Carolina Foothills bylaws provide specific requirements to be followed for board elections and provide for two methods nomination or petition. In the event that a nominating committee, committee only recommends one nominee for each position to be filled and there are no petitions, then no election will be held during the 2021 annual membership meeting and no nominations will be accepted from the floor. That is the case this year. The nominating committee met and the reading notice was po posted in each branch the required 35 days prior to this meeting. The nominating committee is recommending Angela Jeter and Donna Hicks for the two board vacancies. Since there are two vacancies and only two recommended nominees, they are hereby elected by acclamation. Thank you, God bless and stay safe. Hello and good evening. In 2021, we will have the following staff celebrating service milestones. And we would like to take a moment to thank them for their dedication to our credit union and our members. Celebrating five years, we have Taylor Henderson. Celebrating 10 years, we have Grace Simoli and Regina DeRoche. Celebrating 15 years, we have Toletta Stevenson, again, Thank you for your years of dedication and service to the members of Carolina Foothills. That concludes the business portion of our meeting. And now it's bingo time. We will play six games of bingo with winners splitting $100 per game. The funds will be deposited to your account tomorrow. Please watch this tutorial about how to get your virtual bingo card. To access the Bingo Maker Games list, please click the link in the Zoom webinar chat box or the link in your registration email. In the search bar at the top of the page, type in CFFCU and select CFFCU Annual Meeting. Type in the password CFFCU, all lowercase. A pop-up will appear to remind you of the typical bingo layouts that we will be playing with. Once you click play, your bingo card will display. If you try to choose a number that has not been called, it will highlight red. As numbers are called, they'll appear in the current draw box in the upper left-hand corner, and a history of all the numbers called will appear below that. Once your number is called, click the corresponding box on your bingo card. If it is a valid number, it will highlight yellow, and always remember to select your free box in the middle. We'll keep selecting numbers until bingo is called. If you get bingo, your winning row will highlight green and a pop-up will appear letting you know that you've won. If you've won, we need to validate your card. In order to do this, please find the card number in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. 
In this case, it's 23. Go to the Zoom chat bubble and type bingo with your corresponding card number. If you're a winner, the funds will be deposited to your account on Friday, February 19th. We will reset all the bingo cards and play six rounds. Thank you again for joining us for Carolina Foothills annual meeting. If you have any questions, please leave them in the chat box on Zoom and we will do our best to answer them. Are we ready? Hey everybody, it's time to play bingo. I hope you have your cards ready. If you don't, just get in the chat box, let us know so we can get you set up, but we're gonna play six games. We're getting ready to start with our first game. So if everybody's ready, here's our first bingo number of the night, G50. G50. Oh, 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 oh. Got one? Yep. Alisa Cheney. Alisa Cheney, our number Yay. six winner tonight. All right, Alisa. Nice job. Congratulations. Good for you. Your money will be deposited. Your $100 tomorrow morning will be in your checking account. Congratulations to everybody. Thank, Thank you, you so much for playing. We had a fantastic time. Flying balls and all. It was great. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are so glad that y'all tuned in tonight. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We are about to announce the winner of our 50-50 raffle. We would like to give you about two more minutes to make your donations should you choose to donate to the cause. It is now time to announce the winner of the 50-50 raffle. But first, one more door prize winner. The final door prize winner for the evening is Isaac Dixon. No, I can't win? All right. Door prize winner is Serena Staten. Congratulations. Half the proceeds donated tonight will go to service dogs of veterans. The other half we deposit to the winner's up account tomorrow. The grand total is $100, which means that $50 will be donated. Thank you very much for your generous contributions. And the winner is Sheridan DeWeese. Congratulations. Thank you all for your attendance and continued support of Carolina Foothills. We are only successful because of the economic involvement of our members. In closing, I'd like to read the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi, which is referred to around the world as a credit union prayer. Let us bow our heads. Lord, make us instruments of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light and where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. 
to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Once again, thank you all for joining us. A recorded copy of this meeting will be posted to our website in the next week for your reference. We are excited to help move you forward in 2021. Have a great evening.